Today is World Whiskey Day. It's my favorite day of the year. Today is all about celebrating the water of life. It's not about being pretentious or exclusive. It's just about enjoying whiskey. Because whiskey is meant to be enjoyed. So today, we're going to go through the 10 best moments in whiskey cinema history. Also, we're going to go through one TV show that I couldn't leave off the list because it's awesome. If you are new to our channel, you might want to subscribe because if you're a person that likes whiskey or you'd like to like whiskey, we're the channel for you. Just click the subscribe button. Now, number 10 on our list of the best whiskey films Skyfall. We all know that James Bond has a drink of choice. A martini, shaken, not stirred. James is not only ordering a weak drink, he's being kind of a dick about it. Shaken, not stirred. I'm really glad that in the new James Bond films, Daniel Craig gets his priorities right. 50-year-old McAllen. A particular favorite of yours, I understand. It's no coincidence that they chose a 50-year-old McAllen to be James Bond's favorite whiskey. When Skyfall came out, it was the 50th anniversary of the first James Bond film. And to commemorate it, they sold a bottle that was signed by Daniel Craig and Javier Boardman. It sold at auction for nearly 10,000 pounds. That is an expensive McAllen. Number nine. 28 Days Later, the horror movie that redefined the zombie genre gave an amazing shout out to Lagavulin 16. Now, single malt, 16 year old, tart with full flavor, warm but not aggressive. So, if you're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, remember to take your favorite Lagavulin. It may well be your last. Number eight with Nail and I. You might not have heard of With Nail and I. It's not a particularly well-known film, but it is a cult classic. And to me, it's the ultimate drinking movie. In fact, if you tried to keep up with With Nail throughout the entire film, you'd probably die. Not only because at one point he drinks lighter fluid, but throughout the movie, he drinks no less than 13 whiskeys. 13 whiskeys, one film. I have another pair of large scotches. And one of them is a quadruple whiskey. A pair of quadruple whiskeys and another pair of pints, please. Top Whiskeys does not endorse playing the With Nail and I drinking game. Number seven, Anchorman. You can't tell me that you've never thought these words. Mm, I love scotch. I love scotch. Scotch is got scotch. Here it goes down, down into my belly. Mm -mm -mm. Number six, Kingsman. Kingsman 2 Golden Circle is basically one big advert for bourbon. If you're interested, we did a video about the tie-in. The link is down in our description. But for me, of the two Kingsman films, the first one, Secret Service, has the best whiskey reference. Hmm, 1962 Dalmore. It'd be a sin to spill any, don't you think? Matthew Vaughn is a massive whiskey fan, and I don't think it's a coincidence that he picked a 1962 Dalmore to set the scene for Kingsman. It's one of the most expensive whiskeys that's ever been sold. And I think that that's such a cool scene that defines the entire movie. Number five, the day after tomorrow, in this scene, We've got three guys in the worst snowstorm the world has ever seen who are about to die who make a very important decision. Is there any chance that it will run on this? Are you mad? That's a 12-year-old scotch. If I were in that situation, I'd react in the same way. Number four, swingers. I love this scene. The scotch on the rocks, 
please. Any scotch will do, as long as it's not a blend, of course. Uh, in a single malt. Glenlivet, Glenfiddich, perhaps. Maybe a Glengow. Any Glen. You might be a lot cooler than me, but that's pretty much what I looked like the first time I ordered a single malt. Number three, American Pie. We all know Stifler's mom has got it going on. Do you have anything to drink? I believe the kegs are upstairs. That is what the Cretans drink. I'm talking about alcohol, liquor, the good stuff. All right. I got some scotch. Single malt? Aged 18 years. The way I like it. Why don't you go grab a glass from the bar? Number two, Lost in Translation. Bill Murray's combination of suave sophistication and pathetic desperation make him the perfect spokesman for Suntory. For relaxing times, make it Suntory time. Can we watch it one more time? For relaxing times, make it Suntory time. I love that movie. All right. Number one whiskey cinema moment. Inglorious Bastards. Whiskey aside, this is one of my all-time favorite films. There's a special rung in hell reserved for people who waste good scotch. Seeing as I may be rapping on the door momentarily. I must say, damn good stuff, sir. I love that scene. It's so cool. It's so intense. Michael Fassbender is a hero. Now, I told you before, I couldn't put this list together without including one TV show. And that's Parks and Recreation. Pull out a bottle of single malt scotch, pour me four fingers of it, and throw away the cap. Sorry, I only have blended whiskey. Why? Are children even allowed at this event? <sighs> Nobody touches this but me. I don't know if the idea of having Ron Swanson be obsessed with Lagavulin 16 was organic or product placement. Lagavulin neat. Clear alcohols are for rich women on diets. I don't really care. It's just such a cool part of the character. I don't know what inferior swill this is, but I ordered a Lagavulin. If you haven't had a whiskey whilst sat next to a fire with Ron Swanson, you know exactly how you should spend your World Whiskey Day. Link is in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. We post new whiskey videos every week. So subscribe to our channel if you like whiskey or you'd like to like whiskey. And have a great World Whiskey Day.